decide Judge Pittman's order for now while the case is reviewed. And joining us now is Democratic Congressman Barbara Lee of California. And I just want to get your reaction to this breaking news. You testified uh, recently about your own experiences. What is your reaction to the latest out of Texas? Well, I'm glad to be with you tonight. Uh, sorry about this uh, horrible news that uh, we have just learned. Uh, let me tell you, uh, women's lives are at stake. And, uh, you know, women, people all over the country are sick and tired of uh, our lives being in jeopardy in so many ways. Uh, and it, it almost feels like uh, the courts and, and the state laws are just uh, playing games with us. Uh, these are our bodies, our lives, and we have the right to make our own personal decisions about our own reproductive health care, including abortions. And so for these courts to continue to put women in jeopardy and to uh, really force them to scramble to <laughs> who knows what will take place next in terms of what they do when, in fact, they want to and have made a decision to have an abortion. Uh, finally, I'll just say, yeah, I remember the days of uh, back alley abortions. As I said um, last week, um, you know, at age 16, uh, I had to go to Mexico. Uh, fortunately, it was a clinic and a compassionate and competent doctor. But so many women died during that period. And now people are going to die again, find new ways of trying to have abortions. If, in fact, uh, these laws are not taken off the books and the courts need to be on the side of people everywhere and on the side of the Constitution. So this is a very, uh, really uh, dark moment, I think, for people in the country and for our constitutional rights. I think it's so important for people to understand what it was like before Roe v. Wade, and that's why your testimony uh, about uh, the pre-Roe realities was so, so important to this conversation. You know, what do you want voters out there to do in this moment? The Women's Health Protection Act passed the House of Representatives, but as we know, it's held up the same way all the other bills are held up in the Senate. So going forward, you know, in the state of Texas, women are not able to get abortions. But as soon as the, as the Supreme Court decides, there are trigger laws that will affect about a dozen other states. So what is the recourse in this moment for voters who support abortion rights? Well, first, we've got to, get, you know, make sure the senators understand that they need to support the Women's uh, Health Protection Act. And this regard, uh, involves certainly uh, political action. This resolves grassroots action. This involves uh, making sure that we hold members of Congress, both House and Senate, accountable, accountable to people who deserve to be able to exercise their constitutional rights. What they're trying to do is turn the clocks back to the days that uh, I know so well, that so many people know so well, where women died. And in fact, uh, we have to move forward and, and make sure we hold elected officials accountable. And in these states, we, we need to elect members of state houses uh, who are going to support reproductive freedom. And we need to make sure that those who don't uh, are not reelected. I mean, this boils down to a political struggle. We're in a war. This is a fight for our lives. This is a fight for our freedom. And uh, they're playing with our lives. They're playing with our bodies. And I am telling you, uh, people are going to die if these states continue with what they're doing and if these courts continue making these decisions against people's reproductive freedom, their constitutes right. And finally, let me just say, it's, it's a personal decision. And as I said in my testimony, it's nobody's darn business what I do with my body. The only reason I came forward is because I want people to understand what it was like before Roe versus Wade uh, and to know that I shouldn't have to even sit there and talk about it. No, nobody should have to do that. But uh, I was compelled to do it because I'm sounding the alarm on what can happen. So many uh, women died. That was the primary reason for the deaths of African-American women, septic abortions during those days. So this is a really sad and dangerous moment, but it better compel us to engage in political action like we've never done before. Before this breaking news, we had scheduled you to talk about the Build Back uh, a Build Back Better agenda. And one of the things I think is related uh, is, is one fact and one question, which is a majority of women who have abortions in this country already have children. One of the central components of the Biden agenda is child care. 
child care is central to the Biden agenda. Talk about why it's so important for families to have affordable child care, uh, especially since in Texas and in other places, you don't have access to abortion that you may need because it's an economic consideration. Sure. And then they try to deny us access to contraception also and family planning mm -hmm. and comprehensive sexual education in our schools. What the heck do they want? I mean, this is crazy. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and so we've just got to make sure that as we move forward, we um, insist that, uh, we, that people are respected and that our rights are respected and that uh, elected officials are not going to uh, destroy our lives. And, and that's what they're trying to do. And when you look at our Build Back Better uh, bill, yes, child care, women want to work. Uh, black and brown women especially are uh, disproportionately low-wage workers. Child care is expensive. And so why in the world mm -hmm. are those who, who are trying to stop our in our reproductive freedom and our rights to have an abortion, why are they now denying us uh, access to good quality child care and trying to stop the Build Back Better bill? But, uh, it, they don't want us to have child care either. They don't want women to get back into the workforce. I mean, come on, this has got to go. This is a, a, an inflection moment. And this is the time when we have to fight on all fronts for our rights on so many efforts, in so many efforts.